Satnam. Okay, bring the palms together, sit comfortably. And then <clears throat> we'll just keep the spine straight and press the thumbs into the sternum, the palms touch. Close the eyes, take a couple deep breaths through the nose. We use mantras to open every class. We use the mantra Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, which bows to all the wisdom that ever has been and ever will be. And then we use a protection mantra. And if you're new, you can listen or you can like mumble along and copy the sounds, which is actually powerful. Okay, inhale to begin. Ong. the palms together, squeeze up on the root of the spine, roll the eyes up and in. Exhale. Inhale. together. Exhale. Relax. Okay, today is the fourth day of the lunar cycle. We call this the fourth day of the moon. Um, day one is the new moon, and then you count four. Here we are. 
And uh, today is sort of like a secret. By secret, I mean like it's not really commonly talked about. I think Siri Rishi and like I are the only nerds who care. But it's a uh, it's a day where the system is cleaning itself. So the reason we care about the moon is well, I saw this really funny meme that was like, never mind, I can't say it. it's inappropriate. Uh, but it was basically like men think women are crazy for like following the cycles of the moon and it's like if your dick was bleeding with the new moon you too would be like what what's going on in the sky you know so the the we know that the the way that the moon the magnetic pull of the moon to the earth relates to the fields of water on the planet including the water in your body and your what we call the glandular system, but science calls the endocrine system. And so this is why Kundalini is so, uh, this is what we're obsessed with, is that um, the glandular system, you can command it to secrete. And by that, I mean like your third eye, which is your pineal gland, your sexual glands, the glands in the throat that control your metabolism, you know, how you go through menopause, how, how everything happens in your whole life is a glandular situation. And if you have any problems, it's like there usually needs to be a glandular sort of reset. And all the kriyas that we do, they command the master gland, the, the third eye, to start secreting and send signals to the other glands <clears throat> to work properly. And then you're just kind of like literally in the flow state because they're flowing. And then on these certain days of the lunar calendar, like the fourth day and the 11th day and the new moon and the full moon, they're especially on the 11th and the fourth day, it's causing the glands to clean themselves. Like the way that the pull is happening, it's like a secretion is naturally already happening that is a, like a cleaning, cleansing gift uh, to us. And then so when we practice more cleansing kriyas, more like intentionally cleansing kriyas on this day, then you get more of it. And then if you want to top it off, you like drink lots of water, drink lemon water. You could fast. I've already had a coffee. You were screwed. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I always try. And then it's like, oh, wait. It's the fourth day of the moon. Um, but you could have like light, you know, things, drink green, green liquids and all that stuff um, to support you. But the point is it's already happening. It's already, we're already kind of cleansing sort of state. And so we're going to add on top of that some cleansing kriyas today. That's the plan. And uh, there's a certain radiance that happens, a youthfulness when these are flowing. You don't have to, you're not prescribed to the normal rules of how aging works or how everything really works because you're commanding your own system. You're not at the whim of everything. Plus we have all these like weird toxins and our food's poisoned and things are strange out there, okay? So it's, but the, kin the Kundalini Yogi is like not afraid to participate in like living in New York City and being alive and like having a coffee once in a while. Like I'm not gonna die because I, I come in command of my glandular health. Like it's not, so there's sort of this like new age narrative of a certain level of sensitivity where you have to like completely isolate yourself from reality and like only eat homegrown celery and whatever. Um, but sometimes you just, your mission isn't that. Sometimes that is your mission, but most of us, we have things that we need to do in in different ways where we're per particularly changing um, the landscape of like a thicker part of society, helping other people in the, you know, wherever you are, behind the desk or whatever situation you're working in now. So um, we're here and um, we're going to um, take hold of our health in this way so that we um, we clean ourselves a little bit with this power. This is a radiance class, and you'll we'll use that. We'll use the lunar magic of this day to enhance our radiance. All right, sound good. Yesterday we had um, some. I got to teach some new people who came here for another event. They had like a. They do like social events, and normally they like go drinking. And she was like. We're to do this weird thing <laughs> instead. Um, but we just did a short meditation. Then after, I was like, thank you. Um, here's a class schedule if you guys want to come back. <laughs> so then we're like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, the main thing was like we did vision boarding. We did like a 10 minutes of Kundalini. I didn't want to freak them out. 
but they were like, no, thanks. They were like going to party. They were like on the way out to party and they were like, no, thank you. You know, cause it's like not everybody wants to, wants to live this, live this way. Um, but if you are in the small percent that do, you have a good grip on um, changing, changing a bigger landscape on the planet. Cause if you can transform yourself in this way, if you have the desire to, not everyone wants to, then you um, will be sort of become a beacon of hope and a light because your personal transformation just becomes so magnetic to everyone around you. You don't have to like shout it from the rooftops. I do this weird yoga and you know, whatever. <clears throat> it, it's in your aura, like it, 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 your, your energy just changes. There was one girl there who was like, I started Kundalini, everything's changed. A bunch of friends just disappeared. Sometimes it happens if, if you um, start um, raising your frequency that things that are not really, al things just don't become aligned anymore. You're like, I don't want to like, you know, I'm not going to list all the things. There are things that the people say, you know, like I want to have less casual sex. Why don't I want to drink as heavy? You know, it's just like, well, do these things seem like good ideas to you? You know, because the, if the body's in a healthy state, you have less of a like craving to do things that are naturally kind of harmful to the self-sensory system, okay? So live your life and then add Kundalini. Come to sit on the heels. We're gonna do the classics today. All the best, all the best ones. Um, we'll do our Fist of Anger Kriya to begin. If you can't sit on the heels, you're just seated with a straight spine and you're squeezing the thumbs. The hands are in fists and the arms go up and over the head. And then we make a ring of the lips and breathe through the mouth. And it's a rapid breath. It's a breath of fire through the mouth. So we close the eyes. Meditate on this equal inhale and exhale through the mouth. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Breathe through the ring of the lips. Pull the air in, push the air out. and keep going and consciously get negative bring up any anger anything that's been bothering you upsetting you not feeling good and you have to get kind of fiery and use the breath and the motion to clean it out of your aura now 90 seconds deep full breath Good, 35 seconds. The breath is so deep, the rib cage expands. Lift the chest.
good. Inhale deep and release the fingers, press the palms up, stretch. Exhale powerfully. Hold the arms up, inhale. Stretch the armpits and the elbows and visualize bright light all around you. You're not angry anymore, feel light. Exhale. One more inhale. And just stretch up, zero everything out with bright white light. Exhale powerfully. Relax the arms. Very good. Come to sit cross-legged again. We do these uh, mind meditations at the beginning of class. And then we'll do our yoga. We do these every day. Um, they're live streamed complimentary online on Rama TV every day. And then in our studios, we do them because people are going crazy. And <laughs> we need to keep doing it. We're doing things every day since, uh, since 2020. We used to, it used to be like, what's the 2019 like Rama meditation of the year? And now it's like every day until <laughs> otherwise noted. <laughs> It hasn't changed um, because there is a massive a mental health really pandemic on the planet, and uh, we want to we want to have a certain mental sovereignty so you can be um, steady for yourself and everything you're responsible for in creating. All right, this is the meditation to increase your IQ, but it'll help you use your own intuition and discernment. So it's like our Jedi mind training. This is the Jupiter and Saturn finger peace sign here. Elbows by the sides. The mudra is like at the level of the ears. And then we close the eyes and bring these two fingers together and apart. And we're going through this mental focus. Leave the body, journey to space beyond the earth, journey to space, go to visit the planets Jupiter and Saturn. See Jupiter and Saturn. Concentrate on the movement of the fingers and feel that you're bringing the two planets together and then apart. Concentrate. If you feel dizzy, stop. Otherwise, keep going. You may get frustrated or tired or spaced out and want to stop. Keep going. Reach a hypnotic level and grow.
keep moving the fingers <clears throat> and inhale as you bring the fingers apart exhale as you bring them together in your own pace inhale deeply through the nose as you open the fingers exhale deeply as you close them Now, fingers wide and tight, O oh, mouth breath. <sighs> Breathe quickly and deeply through the O oh, mouth. Last minute here, get the breath in. squeeze every muscle fiber of the body tight. <clears throat> and exhale. Inhale again. Squeeze the fingers and the spine. Every muscle fiber tight. Hold the posture. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, and relax the hands, roll the shoulders, move the jaw, and roll the neck. Shake out the legs if you need to. We'll just sit for a few more minutes. <clears throat> the greatest tool that we have, one of the greatest tools that we have um, in our practice and just how you approach life is called the beginner's mind. So great for those of you who are beginners today. Awesome. <laughs> for the rest of us who are jaded and think that we're like already enlightened and we can just like space out and make our grocery list during the meditation, let's try and come at it with a sense of <clears throat> as if now would be the only time 
ever. Now is the only time, and um, today is all that matters, and uh, focusing here in this meditation can take you exponentially forward in the direction you'd like to go. So we're practicing with that intensity. Fingers in the pads of the palms, the thumbs rest on the temples. And we close the eyes and lightly squeeze the back uh, molars, the back teeth, so you feel movement under the thumbs. Feel that pulsation under the thumbs. Keep that going steady. And then mentally chant sa ta na ma. And you coordinate the sounds with the movement, your own voice and your own mind. Sa ta na ma. Commands the elements. Keep going. Press the hands in the lap, open the jaw wide, and press the tongue to the roof of the mouth, and we're holding the jaw open, and holding the tongue pressed up to the upper palate, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth, and the eyes are open looking down at the tip of the nose. It's a strange posture, but we're holding it as still as possible. It's a yogic eye gaze, practice looking down, relaxed, 
tip of nose. Breathe through the nose. Commanding your own mind, pinning down your own mind, do your best. Very good, last minute. Jaw open as wide as you can, tongue pressed up. Okay, we get to move the body now. Come on the hands and knees for cat-cow. And balance on the hands and the knees. And inhale, head, neck, shoulders, sit bones up. Exhale, curl under. Keep moving the spine and breathing. So you coordinate the breath and the movement, inhaling up, exhaling under. Breathe through the nose and listen to the sound of your own deep breath. Maximum range of motion. So the heart opens, the throat opens on the inhale. Everything curls under on the exhale and keep going. Three minutes to reset ourselves. Eyes closed, meditate on the breath and the movement. And as the spine warms up, you can move as fast as you'd like. It's powerful, it's less um, gentle than cat-cow in other systems. Deep breath.
This kriya is it's three minutes. It'll keep you youthful, but it's also a beauty kriya. It'll bring you circulation to the face and that you wouldn't have otherwise. Keeps you radiant. 20 seconds deep in the breath. Inhale, stretch up. Squeeze the spine, roll the eyes up and in. And then exhale under, all the breath out, press into the palms, chin in. And then inhale, neutral spine, exhale, child's pose. Sit back on the heels, forehead on the floor in front of you. Stretch the arms forward and the palms come to touch a prayer pose. Slow down the breath, meditate at the space in between the eyebrows. And plant your sincere gratitude here. Whatever you can truly be grateful for now, just mentally go to that space. slowly come up and we're gonna come all the way up and over to lie on the back speaking to somebody we did like one minute of gratitude and they were like I'm like did you run out of things to be grateful for she was like yeah <laughs> I was like okay that's that's a like pink flag okay so that you know you, what where you where the mind goes the energy flows Sometimes you have to um, humble yourself to have a daily practice of gratitude so that that part, the goodness in your life can grow. Okay, we're going to do all my favorite torturing things today uh, because uh, they're just so much par so powerful uh, when, when the moon is where it is now. So we're going to do the breath of fire through these sequences the breath of fire is an equal inhale and exhale rapidly through the nose. And if you're pregnant or on the first like two days of your cycle as a woman, you'll breathe long and slow and deep through the nose. The rest of us will go into this rhythmic breath. So we'll come into stretch pose. The head, neck, and shoulders are six inches off the ground. The legs are six inches off the ground. The eyes are open. Look forward, breath of fire. <laughs> Good. There's some things that we can do to, to cheat here. If you need to, you can put the hands under the hips. You can raise the legs as high as you need to off the ground while still keeping the core engaged. Better to like raise them to 90 degrees than to drop them. It's probably the worst thing we'll do today, so don't worry. Breathe through the nose. Practice that equal inhale and exhale through the nose. And if you have to release the posture, keep the breath going. Let the energy move through the head and the neck. Eyes are open. Look towards the toes, beyond the toes, into the infinite. And let yourself get stronger. Just when you'd like to give up, there's a pop in the energy field. So go just a few seconds after that point. If you're new to Breath of Fire, focus on the inhales. Let the exhale happen. We are waking up our power center, our solar plexus, the, the 
30 trillion points of light behind the navel in the core, your will center. So it's really the definition of getting out of your comfort zone, which is why this is horrible. <laughs> Enjoy it. <clears throat> when this chakra is balanced and opened, everything else comes into alignment. So it's getting a lot done now. We're in the home stretch and just impress yourself by doing your personal best. That's our, that's our job. seconds incredible job hold yourself accountable to doing your personal best only you know what that is five seconds one inhale to finish come into the posture inhale hold squeeze and relax awesome very good job even, you know, even if you're in excellent condition, it still sucks, you know. <laughs> and every, not every day is the same, so great job. And notice how it feels to be in your body now. You're a little bit closer to, to yourself. Just a fraction of your immense energy has opened. Knees into the chest. If you're comfortable taking off your socks, um, take them off because we'll circuit some energy through the feet. Thousands of nerve endings in the feet. Grab opposite elbows if you can and hug yourself like over the knees. If not, just however you can get the knees into the chest, uncross the legs, bring the nose to the knees, breath of fire. <laughs> So you're curled up like a little ball. And this one is humbling. If you don't do it every day, you're like, wow, this my neck hurts so bad. Um, because the glands in the throat, the thyroid, the parathyroid are adjusting. Metabolism is adjusting. So just breathe through any discomfort. Meditate on the equal inhale and exhale through the nose. breath is cleansing the bloodstream keep the breath going hold the posture as much as you can in kundalini we're not trying to silence the mind because it's almost impossible 
trying to direct the mind. So we use mantra. You can mentally chant a simple mantra with the breath. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. You hear, every time you come into the breath of fire, you should just hear the mantra in the mind. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. Good, 15 seconds. Curl up, squeeze everything, inhale. Hold, squeeze, hold. And exhale. Very good, and then rock and roll forward and back on the spine, part of the Kriya here. Roll forward and back, keep doing it for a minute. Just breathe through the nose and massage the spine on the ground. Come up to sit. Fingers in the pads of the palms. Thumbs up. Arms 60 degree angle. So they're not straight up and they're not out. There's the 60 degrees. The elbows are straight. Chin in, chest out. Close the eyes, breath of fire. is resting on the roof of the mouth, the eyes are rolled up and in. You're just meditating on that steady breath. Part, the aura is organizing itself. You can visualize a magnetic arc, thumb tip to thumb tip. The thumb is the ego. This posture just gets us out of our own way. Focus at the third eye. Less than a minute. Stretch from the armpits, straighten the elbows, lengthen the spine. Creating a certain resiliency in command in your own aura. This is your space. You are in control of your own radiance, your own energy. Fifteen seconds. Inhale deep, draw the thumb tips up. Thumb tips touch, fingers stretch up. Inhale a little more, stretch up, roll the eyes up. Receive through the crown of the head and the fingers.
exhale, slowly sweep the arms around you. Become subtle, become aware of your own energy. Fingertips on the ground, inhale. Exhale. Very good. Come to a baby pose now, which is like child's pose. Come to sit on the heels. And the forehead is on the ground. The arms are by the sides now, palms facing up. I'm gonna keep using this breath. It, cl it cleanses the bloodstream. It, any type of toxin, it will cl it'll clean out. So depression and anxiety various states of fear they cannot really survive in a healthy system in an oxygenated system and we're going to lift the head off the ground so everything's relaxed just the chin is up the head is up so that the throat is open you're still down. Close the eyes, breath of fire. You're, and by now you should have established a steady rhythmic breath. It's a level of self-trust. It brings prosperity when you have this steadiness. <laughs> Find a rhythm you can sustain. Equal inhale and exhale through the nose. Eyes closed, rolled up and in. Let the energy move through the thro throat. Again, we're mastering the, the metabolism, the glandular system. Cleansing ourselves. Everything's relaxed, just the head is up. And pick a simple mantra that you're running through the mind on the breath. Satnam, Satnam, or Why Guru, Why Guru, or another one that you practice. <laughs> and meditate on the breath. Thirty seconds. the spine. Exhale, relax down, relax the head. Very good. And right. 
eyes up, stay seated on the heels. And then we'll come back. Put the hands behind you. Put the weight on the hands. And the throat is open. You come all the way to lie on the back here. Like lie on the back while you are seated on the heels. But you'll come as far back as your body will let you. So if you can't do that, then you're on the hands or you're on the elbows. Stay on the heels. Come all the way back. Good. Breath of fire. And if this posture is challenging for us, we want to practice it. Because the quote is that something in you is dying if you can't do it. No big deal, okay? Okay, so the, the throat is open, the head is back. Totally relax the head back. Good. Put your weight on the heels, heels into the buttocks. Stretch the thighs. And again, breath is always more important than the physical posture. So no matter where you are, keep the cleansing breath going. doing very good it's a heavy powerful reset this morning just become confident in your breath no matter what how it is be sure of it you're doing it correctly don't worry about it make it almost automatic 25 seconds Posture, inhale. Hold, squeeze the root of the spine, the root lock. Roll the eyes up and in. And then exhale slowly, carefully. Raise the spine up. I always feel like I'm like being hatched for the first time when I come out of the posture. Like, where am I? What just happened? Very good. Okay. Carefully, slowly come to stand, last posture. Slowly come to stand and shake out the legs. <clears throat> Please contain your enthusiasm. Everyone's like, I don't know if I can stand. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. This is fun. <laughs> if you know, you know. We're in a wide squat. It's a um, thighs parallel to the earth, like a chair pose. Like you're taking a seat. And then you interlace the hands through the legs. Wrap the arms around the shins. Hands are on tops of the feet or somewhere near there. And you actually want the back of the, your back to be parallel to the ground as well. Stick the tongue out. Breath the fire over the tongue. 
We want the heels to be on the ground, so get the squat wider if you need to. You breathe, it's obviously a detoxing breath over the tongue, okay? It's okay if you cough or whatever happens. It's easy to exhale here. Make sure you get a deep inhale as well. If the tongue changes in taste, you're just, you know, it's just detoxing. That's normal. Let the energy move through the thighs, through the heels, into the earth. So enjoy this sensation that you don't get if you're, you know, not in a human body. This is the good stuff. We came to earth to do this annoying posture together on a Sunday in our, by our own will. Incredibly grounding any insecurity, any fear, any scarcity. Just breathe it out because the energy is going to move and balance your root your lower centers. Good, keep breathing. stretch you want to do your best because it's totally worth it twenty seconds heaviest breath seconds. Hold the posture. Inhale. Hold. Squeeze. Hold. And then exhale. And then carefully come to sit. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. We're, we're still here. Okay, come to seated meditative posture. Go right into this meditation. Okay, this is part of the Kriya. There's a flood of energy at the third eye, and we're going to use that. Come into this posture. I say like a carved yogi, or I see the genie. Is what I think of. The right arm is on top of the left and the elbows are parallel to the ground. Spine straight, chin in, chest out, focus third eye, space in between the eyebrows. We're going to make the breath through the nose incredibly slow. And on the inhale, we're ch mentally chanting Hadi as many times as we can. Hadi, 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 like really, really fast. And on the exhale, we're mentally chanting Hud. H A R. Hud, 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 Hud. Instructions is 84 times on the inhale, 84 times on the exhale. Obviously, you do your best. Hadi is the mantra. As you inhale, slowly, mentally repeat. Hadi, 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 Hadi. As you exhale, mentally repeat. Hud, 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 Hud. For seeds of creativity and prosperity, keep going. Deepest possible breath.
now wherever you are. Hold. Exhale. Relax the arms. Come to relax in the back.
wrists and the ankles, wiggle the fingers and the toes. Stretch the arms over the head, stretch the legs. Knees into the chest, rub the soles of the feet together and the palms of the hands together. Rock up to sit. Bring the palms together and sing along if you know it. Send out this blessing to whomever needs it, known or unknown. In the pure light within. She will teach a fourth day of the moon workshop, which includes journaling and some deeper meditation if you want to stick around. And I'll be teaching all week. I teach in the mornings now. It's a revolution. The world really is changing for the better. Uh, if there's any morning people here or people who don't have nine to fives, I teach at 9 a.m. Monday through Thursday and then some other evenings throughout the week. On this week or in between the new and the full moon, but the, a week from today, next Sunday afternoon, I'm going to teach a self-mastery immersion on communication. So if anyone wants to work on that, uh, it's a week from today in the afternoon, a communication immersion. We'll start breaking down these the yogic concepts around different teachings of life better lived throughout the year, and this is the first one of those and uh, starting with how you communicate with yourself and then obviously how that ripples out to transform your, your life. So pretty much the most powerful tool we have, communication. Okay, um, have a beautiful day, everybody. If you borrowed a mat, you can clean it and hang it up for us and I'll see you soon. Satnam. Thank you. <laughs>